What's going on guys? Today a little bit different of a video from us. We're driving right now. There's a 6-7 on the side of the road. There's a long story behind it and we, I don't know how much battery life. Well, we got a decent amount. So one of my buddies just sold a camper uh, to some guy and I, I believe he lives in Maryland. He's about three or four hours away from home and uh, his cold side pipe blew. Imagine that. So Mike called me and was like, hey man, I got I just sold him this, you know, this camper and he was towing up the summit. Um, and well, what is that area? I don't know, whatever. So we're gonna go fix it. We got uh, we're getting a cold side pipe delivered from SPE. I'm gonna go pick it up and then we're gonna go to the truck, we're gonna fix it, and uh, I always talk about being stranded on the side of the road and this is a case of that and uh, this is how we're gonna fix it. Normally we wouldn't do this. This guy's actually uh, giving us a couple bucks to come and do this and he's, I mean, he's completely stranded on this. It's like a 6% grade for like three or four miles. I mean, and he's completely in the middle of it around nothing. So um, he's pretty screwed. So we're gonna try and help him out a little bit and uh, this will be the first video we ever made money on but not from the video itself. So, but we thought we'd bring you along. Uh, I got Josh tag teaming, working the camera here. Yep. So, uh, we only have so much battery life, so we'll uh, start video once we pick up the package and uh, we get there. I already talked to them and I told them about the video, so hopefully they're cool with it. They might be a little awkward. I don't know. Um, bear with it. But, um, yeah, so stay tuned, boys. We're back. So we got the part and we had to make a trip a quick trip to Harbor Freight to grab a few tools that I didn't have on hand um, So we opened the box just to make sure everything was in there uh, We had to pick these guys up some water because they are they are really stranded um, So and we're going up there on a absolutely steep hill like my car is in fourth and uh, We're losing speed quickly, so it's like a six or seven percent grade and it's it's a long hill so We'll be, uh, we'll be there shortly. Um, yeah, right on. It's all right. Sometimes shit happens and you meet random people on mountain passes in PA. <laughs> yeah. They saved our ass, that's for sure. Thanks, SP. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's this. Be yeah, very careful with that. Well, here, let me, uh, yeah, rip that out. I'll pull that sensor out. Cold side pipe, blue. Can I show that again? Yeah. So, see how bad that blew up? Looks usable. <laughs> Got some duct tape. Fix it up. show them the old one yeah all right yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna go over these clamps just one more time so hopefully you know just to make sure they're tight hey josh can you give me a 10 mil please actually i'll grab it i'll grab it no big deal fuck you you want me to film you want me to grab your tools what do you want me to like <laughs> come on i'm sorry you know i expect too much out of you <laughs> Those are good. Yeah, so probably took like 25 minutes on the side of the road with some tools we bought hard free. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Great. What are you doing with the, are you like just leaving it stock? Yeah, for the most part. I've been there, done that, been through that phase of my life. And I just want something turnkey reliable. Like I said, I wanted to get rid of all this plastic crap on top of the motor with a piping kit. Never got there. Never got to ordering the, the cold side kit because of the fact that the piping kit would have gotten rid of all that anyways. Yeah. So there's just no point in buying it. And of course now we're hauling this monster back home from, I don't know where I am, PA, and uh, it blows out. But you'll have that. You're close to Uniontown. Yeah, Uniontown, okay. But you'll have that in life. 
forced upgrades, man. Yeah. <laughs> Life's a giant box of chocolates. They're all pieces of shit with bites <laughs> taken out of them. <laughs> all right, guys, so we got the install done. Hey, get your ass over here. So we made two friends. Seth. Nick. How you doing? All right, so we got, we got it installed. Hey, well, you, you want to tell them what happened, what the, what the problem was? Um, yeah, so we'll start off. We came up here from Maryland, picked up this monstrosity behind you. Um, we were pulling this mountain pass, came up a different way than we came in. And uh, we were coming up this hill. I mean, we were probably right around between 18 pounds of boost, big bang. Anybody who's been around diesels knows usually a charge pipe ordeal. And uh, we ended up limping into this little spot right here. Lucky enough, the guy we got the camper from knew somebody, the SPE diesel. This guy, <laughs> they uh, got us our parts and they came out here and uh, got us all fixed up and got us back on the road and everything. And I, I, I'm grateful for him. But we <laughs> were up Shit's Creek without a paddle. Lifesavers. <laughs> yeah, lifesavers, man. You guys ever make it down to Maryland, give us a call. <laughs> well, so yeah, I mean, basic install of a cold side pipe from SPE. I mean, what do you think of the build of the, uh, the integral pipe? Definitely better than stock. It's <laughs> it, it, simple it, and it works. The thing I like about it is you don't have to worry about whether it works with a tune truck or not. It's for like either you can run or a, on a emissions either, intact truck. Yeah, it's yeah. for either or. And that was one of the things I specified. I said, it is a tuned truck, if that makes any difference. And he said it doesn't make any difference. It's for either or. And that, that was absolutely awesome. Just look at that. I mean, <laughs> look, at, look yep. at what happened. And there, there was no... I've seen people blow this thing and they'll put all kinds of beer cans and stuff like that around it, duct tape. This is at the collar for the, the intake manifold. You, there was no fixing that. <laughs> nah. None. So, no fixing. so if you don't want to be stuck on the side of the road, we recommend a cold side pipe because uh, these trucks are notorious for I, it. And here's one situation of uh, how it happens. So don't, don't, I wouldn't even recommend it. Just do it. Don't even think about it. Just spend the $200 and just do it. It's going to give out on you eventually. It's done a lot of dumb stuff with this truck and it's held up this long. And you know, it was just that one time that it's all it took was one time. And that was that. So uh, we're gonna try to ease our way back home and try not to blow anything else up. <laughs> Knock on wood. So let's see how that works out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So catch you on the next one.